Good afternoon, groovy citizens, and happy, fantastic Friday. So you guys, do you realize that today is the last Friday in 2022? I mean, the last Friday in this year. How awesome and amazing is that? Because in a week, we will be at our first Friday of 2023. So anyway, I hope you all have had a phenomenal Christmas with your family, your friends, or whoever you spent it with. Doesn't matter to me. And I hope you're like me. I am so looking forward to this new year. OMG, I'm so looking forward to this new year. And, and I'll talk more about this <clears throat> in upcoming videos, but you guys, this year has just been so amazing for me. When I say amazing, I mean truly, truly amazing. Now, has every day been like a walk in the park? No, it hasn't. However, and because as the song says, when all of my good days, come on somebody, outweighs my bad days, I won't complain. So I have nothing to complain about because I've had way more good days than I've had bad days. So for that reason, y'all, I'm excited. Now, I just left from getting my hair done. My awesome stylist, Miss Lakeisha, who also always does a fantastic job with this wig of mine. I am so loving it, okay? I am really feeling myself right now. Let me just be honest with you. I am. So <laughs> and I told her, I said, listen, my birthday is in April. So I want to do something really, really cool with my hair so whatever you come up with is fine with me i said if you want to cut it color it she said add to it i said we can add to it too because one thing i love about my hairstyles and i know i can give her free reign is because i know she's not going to pick a style that that's not flattering for me and because it's a reflection on her as well if i tell people that she's doing my hair it's going to be like say what so i know she's not going to set me up so i'm so excited i cannot wait to see what she comes up with which reminds me, I need to, to text my nail tech to see if I can get my nails done tomorrow. But anyway, I digress. So while I was getting my hair done, her awesome other half, Monte, y'all, I just love me some Monte. He does oils and look what I got, two more new bottles. So this one is Oud, I guess that's how you said Oud or Oud, O-U-D. This is Satin Mood. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this stuff smells so freaking good. So I love, love, love it. So I have that one, and this was the last one too. And I also got the Amber Oud Gold Edition. Oh Lord, this smells nice too, hunty. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Mm -mm. And so I'm putting it back in my little bag and put it back in my bag that I carry with when I get my hair done. My little afternoon snacks includes some classic wheels pretzels. So I'm gonna open these up. And I'm gonna drink down the rest of my tea from this morning. In fact, I'm gonna open up my pretzels now so when I finish this video, I can go ahead and start eating them. But I don't wanna eat and talk, cause you know, that's just a little on the rude side. So I will wait till I'm done talking to you all and get into those. So I'm gonna put on my little seatbelt because I have to drive while I'm talking <clears throat> because I'm headed to go pick mom up and we're gonna ride over to the AT&T store because she got a new phone and she needs them to help her switch everything over. So we're gonna go do that. And then what else am I gonna do the rest of the day? Mm. Oh, I yeah, I'm gonna be, I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I'm gonna continue to be working on pages for 2023's vision book because my rings, you guys, the new rings that I ordered, oh, that makes me wanna dance. But I digress, we'll be here tomorrow. So I'm super excited about that because I told you all that I had one hardcover set left over and it's pink. So I'll be using that and so I ordered some of this, these cute pink metal rings. And I use the metal rings because I told you all I carry my vision book with me. So if I go out of town or, you know, I'm coming to your house for a sleepover, I'm going to bring my vision book with me because things always pop up in my mind. I want to write them down. And I just found in, when I first started doing it, the plastic rings just did not hold up well. I have one book that actually has two of the rings that are cracked because like I said, they just don't travel well. And so I decided to start using the metal rings. That way I don't have to worry about them cracking and all that other good stuff. Now the, the plastic rings are a little cheaper. However, I would rather go with the metal rings because I know that they're gonna last and I don't have to worry about them breaking up. 
So, y'all, this, this sun is something else. It is a beautiful day today. It is 63 degrees outside. And so, I'm so excited about that. Because, honey, let me tell you guys, so that deserves four snaps. We are going to have beautiful weather from now up until, I want to say, next Thursday? Wednesday or Thursday? Something like that? I ain't mad at all. Not at all. Do you hear what I'm saying? Not at all. So, I'm going to soak it in because this uh, this cold weather really is not for me. And I keep saying every year I'm going to move. <laughs> Some place where we do not have to experience a winter because me and this winter, mm -mm, we don't get along at all. But you know what? I love home and I can't think of any place else I would rather be. Although I would prefer to have warmer weather at this time of year. It is what it is, but I do love home. So I guess I'm staying put. But anywho, anyhow, you guys, I'm so excited because tomorrow, as you all know, it is New Year's Eve. And so I hope whatever it is that you decide to do tomorrow, that you are safe in doing so. Whether you're going to go out, stay in, it doesn't matter. Just be safe, okay? But me, I will be at church our New Year's Eve. Uh, service starts at six o'clock and I know y'all thinking well how's that watch night service well it is we're having it at six o'clock because the first falls on a Sunday and yes we will still have church and so the, the thinking is to have that service early because everybody probably won't watch it early because it will be streamed in which case you know you can go back and play it at 11 o'clock and still you know be bringing in the new year on your knees if that's what you so choose to do so i'm super excited about that so my sister's going to meet me there my good friend mark he said he's coming and he's going to get his mom to come i said well, praise god for that and so i don't know if chuck is coming or not but y'all god is just good and i won't even lie to you all i have not been physically in church for worship since covid hit but I am going today because I just have so much to thank God for that I decided I wanted to be in the church house. And guess what, y'all? I might. Yeah, don't hold me to it. But I just might decide to go in the church house on the first for worship as opposed to streaming it. Like I said, I don't know yet, so don't hold me to it. I'm, I'm praying about it. But when I tell y'all God has been good, he has truly been good. And, and I'm trying to tell you, just saying that just makes me want to get out and shout all around this truck. You hear me? Because God has truly, truly been good. And here's the other thing I wanted to say as I said that. A lot of times we say that God has been good. And a lot of times people say it because God has done something for them or given them something. But you know what? For me, I can say God has just been good just for the simple fact fact that I'm still here. He allowed me to see January 1st of 2022 and he's, he's allowing me to still be here now. So for that reason y'all, I am thankful. I am truly, truly thankful. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's why I say, when I say God is good, oh he is so good. You know, there's a song that I love. I want to say Layla Hathaway sings it and she just sings, God's been good he has been just that good y'all i love that song but anyway enough about that but yeah I, I could talk about how good god has been all day long without even having to go into detail but i just want you all to know that god has truly truly been good and i'm gonna have to eat one of these pretzels because i'm hungry y'all i need a snack i had breakfast but i do need a snack but anyway yeah so like i said i'm heading home take mom over to the t, t store and get her new phone set up and i'm gonna come back and create some more pages that are going to go into my 2023 vision book because like i said the rings come tomorrow i'm so excited and my dividers come tomorrow so i can put all of that together and and then i'm going to spend the rest of the weekend working on my notes for next week's car conversations because i do go back to my official vlogging on next week this is just a random vlog because i'm feeling myself and i decided to do one but i go back to my official I'm just gonna ask clown. vlogging 
next week. And so I'm excited about that. And I already know what video, what topic I'm going to talk about on Monday, y'all. This is going to be a powerful one. So make sure you tune back in on Monday because it is going to be so powerful. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because this year, I am really thinking about ways that I can do things a little differently with my vlogs. And it's always going to be about motivation because I love motivating you guys. But I do know that I need to get back into um well I do I still put out my podcast that'll go out on Saturdays well Sunday if I don't get it out on Saturday but once a week but also doing my podcast on wisdom because I kind of gotten away from that so I definitely want to do that and I'm also on an app called Swell I don't know if you've ever heard of it but I'm on an app called Swell and that's a podcast app as well now the only difference is is you can only do your podcast for five minutes but that's all right because i can definitely motivate you all in five minutes so i definitely want to get that on the calendar for getting back to doing that i'm looking forward to we decided today that we're going to do a girlfriend's getaway next year so i am so excited and y'all did i tell you i got a garlic press for christmas from my sister honey you can't tell me nothing now I am so excited. I used it yesterday and put some garlic in my in my eggs, honey, and it was the bomb. But I digress again. So <laughs> we're, gonna do, <coughs> we're gonna do a girlfriend's getaway. So I'm looking forward to that. And I, more info will be coming as I get it, but I'm planning on doing a mind body wellness retreat in September. So I'm looking forward to that. And what else? There's something else I was going to tell you guys. Mm -mm. And of course, my family reunion is coming up in August. So I'm excited about that as well. And I'm just seeing so many great things happening in 2023, you guys. I just don't know what to do with myself. Mm -mm. It was a little close there. When she all busted up as it is. But anyway, y'all, I'm trying. When I tell you that I am looking forward to so many great things in 2023, not just for me. But for you all as well, when I tell you that I see, this is why I tell y'all, when I tell you that I love you, I need you to truly understand that I love you all. I want nothing but the best for you. I want you to succeed. Honey, let me tell you something. I even love my enemies. You know why? Because I can love them with the love of Christ. Come on, somebody. Not necessarily with Michelle's love, but with the love of Christ that would that that makes that allows me to to be able to love my enemies but i truly want nothing but the, the best for each and every one of you i want 2023 to be a much better year than it was this year okay and I'm, i want you to do more so i want you to stop being afraid i want you to step out on faith come on somebody stop being afraid because some of y'all been saying for the last couple of years, I want to do A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And then you don't do it because you're afraid. You're afraid of well, what if people don't like it? What if they don't come? What if they talk about it? So what? All of those things can, are going to happen because that's just a part of life. But you have to stop being afraid to step out and do whatever it is that your heart is calling you to do. And I want you all to do that. And you know that if you are second guessing yourself, you're not quite sure always reach out to me let's talk through and figure out how we can make whatever that thing is come to life because i want nothing but the best for you and i want you to stop being afraid to live your best life okay so you guys that's it i have made it to my house i'm going in here hopefully mom is ready that's how i use the bathroom first so i've been drinking tea and then we're gonna get on out of here so i can finish up the rest of my day doing what i need to do so that's it you guys i just wanted to do this random vlog because again i'm feeling myself with my hair come come on now and my two oils thank you monte thank you lakeisha i just love you all to the moon and back y'all if you're new to watching my videos i want to say welcome thank you for joining me i do a vlog every monday wednesday friday and saturday a motivational vlog so starting this upcoming monday the first of january i'm getting back onto my schedule because i took a little break and let me tell you this real quick. I needed that break, y'all, because this cold really had beat me down. I mean, this hacking and coughing was just horrible. I couldn't even, 
do this without hacking and coughing. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, and I wasn't sleeping well at night because I was hacking and coughing, but God is so good because I feel so much better now that I'm ready to get back to doing what I love doing. So join me on Monday. If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say welcome back. Y'all know I miss you when I don't get a chance to see you. Go out there. Have a great rest of your Friday. Whatever you decide to do this weekend, just do so responsibly and be safe. I love you all to the moon and back. Y'all know the drill. You know the spiel. There's nothing you can do about it because it will never, ever change. Love you all, and we'll talk again on Monday.